athletes. We're going to create a Y with her body and her arms. This muscle works the lower best the athlete in the world. Then. We are charting a new course for golf. It's time for Inside Golf. All right. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to Inside Golf. I'm Harry Donahue with Colleen Wolf, and today we continue with our tour of the Poconos. Two beauties for you. We have Shawnee and also Buck Hill. What you like most about these golf courses? Well, Buck Hill actually had wonderful views, and then there was a great restaurant, Shawnee Inn. And there's more coming up, as Colleen will tell us. Yes, we're going to check out Naomi Village, which if you're going up to the Poconos to play golf, it's a great place to stay, as well as Callie's Candy, which my personal favorite so far. I think I left with a bag of candy about <laughs> the size of my torso. <laughs> Love those chocolates. And we'll have our teed off panel. It's all coming up next on Inside Golf. Inside Golf is brought to you in part by Yingling, America's oldest brewery. By the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau. It's time to golf the Pocono Mountains. And by the Philadelphia Section PGA. To the Duffers, the Hacks. We've been there. To the three and four putters, we learned. And to the Rough Riders and Sandman, we're ready to teach you. To everybody out there who thinks they can't play the game, the over 28,000 PGA golf professionals say, we're here to help you discover or rediscover the joys of golf. To you, and you, and you, we're here. The Philadelphia Section PGA is here to teach you. Play golf, Delaware Valley. Welcome back to Inside Golf. We find ourselves now in Naomi Village, and with us now is Rose Bowrice. Rose, thanks so much for having well, us. Thank you for being here. Can you tell us a little bit about Naomi Village? Sure. Naomi Village, we have 28 houses. Some of the houses are from studios to four bedrooms. And actually, we have an in-ground pool. We have a volleyball court. We have a tennis court. Some of the houses have saunas and uh, jacuzzis. So what type of experience do you want people to have here at Naomi Village? Uh, Naomi Village is very secluded and very quiet. Uh, we have a lot of reunions throughout the year. Uh, we have a lot of families that come here every single year. Uh, the children will be able to bring their bikes, the scooters. It's really uh, a quaint experience and a lot of memories are made here. What's your favorite part about it here? It's, it's quiet, it's secluded and uh, basically you can do whatever you want. All right, Rose, thank you so much for showing us around. Well, thank you. So you can come here, you can stay at Naomi Village, and then you can go play some golf, which we're about to do. We're heading over to Shawnee Inn. Well, we find ourselves here at Shawnee Inn, another unique and very historic place in the Pocono Mountain area. Rob, I was walking in and I saw on the sign that it said, beer from here, food very near. Is that correct? What's, what's going on there? That drew me in. Uh, the Gem and Keystone, which is uh, our newest restaurant up at the front, it's a brew pub. It's beer from here because we make our own beer, beer here. We make our own beer, Shawnee Craft Beer. Uh -huh. And food from near because we try to get our food as local as, we, as possible. As a matter of fact, some of the food we get from our own 27,000 square foot garden that we have. Now you also have some entertainment in the dining area. Isn't that correct? We do. Now, we, we launched a piano bar in the River Room. So we have a gentleman by the name of John Grant who comes and plays piano and he'll sing, you can sing with him. And the gem really focuses on uh, highlighting local musicians. So we have local musicians that play on the weekends, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday up at the gem. So you brew your own beers here. Yep. Do you have a favorite? Well, my favorite is called the VSOP, which mm -hmm. is very special old pale. But our other special releases, like our pumpkin ale, mm -hmm. is made with pumpkins out of our garden. Sounds great. And we have uh, other beers that will be coming online. Uh, when we get honey from the bees that we have on the island, mm -hmm. we'll be using that in our beer. So it's, it's, it's really, it's nice. And all these things help, I think, give Shawnee a sense of, a really authentic sense of place. Absolutely. Can, can you tell me a little bit more about the farm that you have here? Well, it's a 27,000 square foot farm. It's on the Gulf Island itself. Mm -hmm. uh, we give tours of it every day to our guests. So what we do is take them out on the golf carts. The garden has zucchini and eggplant. It has uh, heirloom tomatoes. Yeah. We grow flowers that we put into the lobby and other places into the resort. That's great. So do you guys have a lot of packages here that you offer to the guests that are coming in? We do. Um, because we offer so much here at Shawnee, there's an opportunity to package almost anything 
right. we have packages of course that include golf because golf is one of the number one things that we uh, we think uh, we have here at yes, Shawnee. Absolutely. But we have playhouse packages because we have a Broadway theater. Uh, we have spa packages for those who want to come and pamper themselves. We have river packages for those who want to come and enjoy the river. Mm -hmm. And you can combine those. Now you mentioned the golf course. I need to hear more about mm -hmm. it. Can you tell me everything? <laughs> well, let me. I mean, our golf here is special. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been special since it was opened here in 1911. The original design was by a guy by the name of Tillinghast. Mm -hmm. uh, any golfer would know A.W. Tillinghast. This was his very first design. There is no other first than Shawnee. We had the 1938 PGA Championships here. Uh, we've had many famous golfers here that have walked this ground, as well as presidents and celebrities alike. And so when people play here at Shawnee, it's almost sort of like uh, hollowed ground right. for some golfers. So it's, it's like you go across this bridge onto an island and you're in this world of golf. And everything else leaves, all your other problems that you may have had or you're thinking about, sort of get washed away and you, you, you go onto this island and this is where yes. now go you play golf. Island. I want you to go there. <laughs> <laughs> so you have this serene atmosphere out here and then inside it seems like you have a very lively group of restaurants and bars. How <laughs> would you overall describe the atmosphere here? I would say it's, it, it is relaxing. I mean, all, all in all, to come to Shawnee is uh, it's almost like coming home. Uh, the guest rooms are, are very comfortable. The beds have extra pillows on them. Uh, the duvets are nice and fluffy. So again, it's a, I think here it is the charm and the comfort, and that's what I would say, just a relaxing, comfortable place to come. Rob, thank you so much oh, you're for welcome. having us. Thank you for coming. You've convinced me to go across that bridge and go to that island of golf so I can forget all of my worries. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love it. <laughs> and that's exactly what we're gonna go do now. Have a fantastic time. Believe it or not, I'm on an island in the middle of the Delaware with Joe Manley. Now, Joe, of course, is the head pro here at Shawnee and Golf Resort, and we're here on part of the beautiful course. Joe, welcome to the show. Nice to meet you, Colleen. Thanks How's for everybody? having us. Good, Good. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about the course? Sure. We have a beautiful resort here at Shawnee and Golf Resort. Uh, we have 27 holes, 24 of which are on an island in the middle of the Delaware, as you <laughs> <Yes>. mentioned. <laughs> um, great golf academy, great restaurants, spa, river trips. We have everything here. Now the water coming into play here is pretty unique. The Delaware River actually splits pretty much right in front of the hotel mm -hmm. and creates the island. And we have two par threes, seven blue and two red, that are uh, you play across the river. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this hole here that we're going to play. Sure, um, seven blue, um, it can be played anywhere from about 120 yards from the forward tees back to 187 yards from the uh, championship tees. It's a great par three. Um, it's a little visually intimidating, uh, <laughs> but it's a beautiful, beautiful hole. All right, Joe, let's set up your first shot. All right. All right, Joe, so we're playing from the whites. About how long is the distance from here? About 165 yards. Okay, and how are we going to set up this first shot? Well, um, obviously, like I said before, it's visually intimidating, so you just kind of kind of have to picture yourself making a good solid swing, and, and um, hopefully your, your, your practice is going to pay off. All right. Okay. It looks good. Yeah, not bad. Yep, worked out well. <laughs> I don't think that's bad at all. Worked out well. <laughs> all right, Joe. Well, we can see where your ball landed. Yeah. But unfortunately, it unfortunately, rolled down here. <laughs> you know, a, a great aspect of this hole is the false front that's here. And mm -hmm. obviously, my ball hit there, kind of rolled up a little bit, sucked back, and it hit this false front, rolled all the way back down off the green. So it's a unique aspect of this hole that a lot of people don't take into account. And the majority of the people are putting from this spot down here once they get over the river. So what are some of the other unique aspects about this course? A great aspect about this course, course, which is unique to the area, is that it's very flat. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're down in the river valley, and every other course around here is very mountainous and very hilly and very picturesque, but there's a lot of blind shots and that sort of stuff. We have no blind shots. Everything's right in front of you. Um, it's just a beautiful scenery. You know, you've got mountains on both sides. October is my favorite time to play here because oh, sure. the, the colors on both sides, it's just absolutely beautiful. All right. Well, how are you going to set up this shot now? Well, we've got a, up a pretty good slope, and it's going to move quite a bit to our right. You just want to kind of get it up there and just try and keep it below the hole. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That looks good. There we go. Take that all day. Nice shot. Thank you. Very nice job. 
So Joe, what attracted you most to come here? Probably the, the, the overall facility, the golf course, the, uh, the surroundings, the community, um, and the family, the Kirkwood family, uh, the, the owners of the resort really take pride in the resort and um, really enjoy calling this their home. This is a very popular place. What do people say most that they like about it here? They like the, the atmosphere of the, uh, of the hotel. It has a lot of older charm. Um, they like the staff. We have very friendly staff here at Shawnee, and they like the sights. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful here. Mm -hmm. Older charm, you say. There's a lot of history. I'm sure you have some stories. Absolutely. There's tons of history. A little bit before my time, but uh, Jackie Gleason um, played a lot of golf here. Um, he actually ended up staying here for the majority of summers. Uh, Arnold Palmer met his first wife winning here. Uh, the 1938 PGA Championship was here. Uh, a, lot of great, uh, a lot of great stories in, inside the, the halls mm -hmm. of the inn. Well, Joe, thank you so much for My showing pleasure. us around here. My pleasure. It was really great. We actually stayed here last night. It's a wonderful resort. You can't miss it. You have to check out the golf and everything else they have to offer here at Shawnee Inn.